Hi, my name is Faye. Today we are in Taiwan again. But today I'm not going to deep fry the food. I'm going to boil the food instead. Oden is a popular food in Japan, Taiwan, and Korea. In Malaysia, we have something similar. We call it lok lok. The difference between all these are actually the broth and the sauce for dipping the food. So today I'm going to show you uh, Taiwanese style oden. Uh, how to make Taiwanese style oden in your home kitchen. So first of all, we need to prepare our broth. So you need to boil uh, water first. This is 1.5 liter of water. When the water has started to boil, we put a bonito flax. This is about 10 grams. And then turn down the fire to low. Let it boil for about 1 minute. One minute later, we turn off the fire. And then let the bonito flax sink down. When it has completely sink underneath, we will strain it out. And now I'm going to strain it out. After we strain out the bonito flax, start to boil it again. Now we are going to put the second ingredient. This is dry shrimp. I have pre-washed it. So this dry shrimp is also a special ingredient for uh, Taiwanese style uh, oden because uh, in Japan, they don't use uh, this dry shrimp, they will use kombu. Uh, as far as I understand, in Korea, they also use kombu. And then we are going to put this white radish. Um, I have sliced the skin and cut into half. Normally in Taiwan, they will serve it in a big portion like this. So, we'll boil it together with the broth. And then corn. These two ingredients uh, is a natural sweetener for the broth. So we are going to cover it and simmer it with low fire for 30 minutes. So while waiting, we are going to prepare our other ingredients. Normally in Taiwan, some of the common ingredients that you can find in any Oden store is uh, the white radish and fish tempura is actually a kind of fish cake, uh, Taiwanese style. This is uh, another special ingredient where you can find in this Taiwanese style Oden store. Uh, it's the, the cabbage rolled with meat paste or prawn paste or fish paste. Uh, the one I'm using right now is I roll it with uh, some minced pork and shiitake mushroom. Even though we are serving at home, but I try to modify <laughs> the street food style. You can put any ingredient you like. Okay, I have simmered the soup for 30 minutes. I'm going to take out the corn. The corn is cold, but I will leave the radish inside because it is a big piece so it can still afford to continue to simmer in the soup and I will put the rest of the food these are generally uh, processed food so they are full of flavor so we are going to simmer it in this broth for about 15 minutes to let it release out some of their flavor We continue to simmer it for another 15 minutes with uh, low fire. So while waiting, 
we will going to prepare the sauce for dipping. So this is another part of uh, specialty about this Taiwanese style of them because different countries or them have different kind of dipping sauce. So what we need is um, miso, miso paste. I have one tablespoon of miso paste. One tablespoon of ketchup, tomato ketchup. And one tablespoon of mirin. Or uh, this is local cooking wine. It is uh, a bit sweet. So I'm using this to replace mirin because mirin is also a kind of cooking wine which is a bit sweet. So if you if your cooking wine is not sweet, you can add a bit of sugar. Or if you do not want to use alcohol, you can just use um, hot water and dilute it with a bit of sugar. So we still have some time to wait for our food to be fully cooked. I'm going to get myself a glass of uh, milk tea. This time I will be making um, pudding milk tea. Uh, I'm going to use my instant milk tea powder. This is a grey instant milk tea powder from Taiwan. Some hot water to dilute it. This is uh, my pudding. I made it two hours ago using premixed pudding powder. So I'm going to scoop my pudding into my cup first. My pudding milk tea is done. Mm. Mm. Okay, let's put this aside. Okay, our food is ready. Try the soup first. Okay. We need to season it with some salt and sugar. I think I will take out the food first. Now it's time to plate out. I will just pick things that I like. This is what I will definitely order whenever I come across uh, this Oden store. Normally, they will cut it for us. And this is also my must order food. It with the deep sauce. Let me give it a try. Mm. So nice. I feel like I'm back in Taiwan. <laughs> And another thing I must have is the soup. Normally, I like to 
sprinkle with some pepper and cilantro. Mmm, so nice. 